I'm so happy for you. I can't even lie. I'm so happy for you. How are you feeling? If you ever feel like giving up on your dreams, watch this video again because I am living proof that hard work and belief can take you anywhere. I know you guys haven't seen me in a few of the recent videos and I haven't been around and you might have seen the news on social media but I am pleased to say that I've signed my first professional contract at Harrogate Town Football Club. So I um, played my final game for Horizon Ballers against Essie Dons, uh, kept a clean sheet, won 2-0 and then got a message from my agent which was a few days later saying to me that there's an opportunity at Harrogate Town, League 2 club, they need a goalkeeper. I had two days of training and the manager just said that he wanted to see, to see me for another, another week so he looked at me for another week, uh, done well in training, manager sat me down and said to me that they sees potential in me because he hasn't seen me in a game he wanted to look at me for a further month but he wanted me to sign there and just, he just said to me that keep, keep your head down, keep working hard and eventually things will open up for me. So it was a bittersweet moment because like signing my first professional contract it was amazing like at 25 years of age like having put in so much dedication it was something that I've always like aspired for but at the same time I thought to myself I can't get carried away it's only a month yeah fast forward a month later um, done very very well and been offered a contract for the rest of the season. He had the SC Dons game and before the game, Dara was like to me like, what's your plans for the season? I said to Dara like, um, I'm thinking of just walking away from the game. Like, I feel like I've given it my best. Dara was like, no, nah, you can't give up. I don't believe you. Like, you're too motivating as an individual. You've put in so much work, like you can't walk away. I said to him like, I'm not a player Dara, I'm a goalkeeper. Like, I actually, in my head, like, was preparing to quit. No opportunities kind of opened up in the summer. I might not be given another opportunity. So yeah, like, I just thought to myself, like I've given it my all into football, tried to go through the non-league system, hasn't worked out, but at least I've given it my best and I was ready to walk away from it. Literally the last second, I got a call of, like, like, it's all part of God's plan. Like it's been given another opportunity to, to keep going, man. Everything happens for a reason, so it's almost as if the club was a perfect fit for me because my journey of trying to climb through the ladder and the club's journey of climbing through the ladder has been the same. 2017, they, went, they turned professional as a full-time club in the National North. Two promotions out of the last three years and they've been on the rise and they've done very, very well and they're in the football league for the first time in their history. Since I've been at the club, the staff and the players have been very welcoming. It's a very, very hard-working club. A lot of the boys are from like a similar footballing background like myself. 2018, June, July times, I had a very strong season at Harrow Borough. That time I was doing a full-time job at a school and I quit that job and I said to myself, I'm trying to work my way back up. These times I didn't even know nothing about rising bullers or anything. Jamie and, and Alfie turned around and said to me like, we've got this project like rising ballers we're trying to get players into pro football and I thought to myself do I really want to do this a month later they said to me there's a game against Baytees I think initially I said I'm not available so I turned around back said to him yeah I'll play I'll play I'll play because I thought it was an opportunity and um, yeah from that day it never looked back obviously getting trials and stuff at clubs is all good but you need exposure as well innit? so I thought to myself this is a different avenue, this is social media, it might help my profile and yeah from that day never looked back like it's been an amazing journey, something I didn't expect but it's brought me to where I am today man. I remember the days when we was only getting 1k views on videos and stuff like I was always being called a serious one at the beginning because I was taking everything serious like but I just thought to myself like this has potential, I was prepared to sacrifice 
playing on a Saturday and on a Sunday for my own career to like give me that upward trajectory and thank God like it's worked out how I've viewed it from the beginning. So when Maz came into Rising Ballers, that was a very, very um, important time for myself because when Maz came in, he made the setup very professional in terms of training, matches, punctuality, and like Maz gave me the responsibility of being captain and leading the next generation that I call. I was committed to the cause, whether Maz would have came in or not. Jamie used to put in the group chat all the time, Darius is training at 6, 7 a.m., Illum is training at 7 a.m., what are you boys doing away from football? And these times, I wasn't even training at 6 a.m., like, I'll be honest, like, it was like April or May 2009, I think he got signed after that famous touch that he done. Yeah, like, when I saw Darius get signed, I was like, wow, like, Darius is grinding, this is unbelievable, like, and that gave me this sort of extra belief and hunger, like, anything's really possible. Like Before I came into Rising Ballers, I thought if you wasn't in, a, in the professional game already, going working your way up through non-league was the only way. This is amazing. Like there's, there's different routes of going to the top. So finally, after Darius got signed, he featured on Soccer AM and Soccer AM gave me an opportunity on, on their platform. And yeah, like just things just blew up from there. That encouraged me like, I'm a goalkeeper. It's harder for me to break through. And I was 24 at that time, so I thought to myself, like, I need to work even harder than them and everyone else, give it my best and see what happens. So I said to myself, I'm going to train at six o'clock in the morning and then train again in the afternoon or in the evening, anything's possible. Let me give it my best and see what happens. And yeah, just grateful. It's been incredibly tough, like, trying to earn a living. Obviously, I've got a car that I need to maintain. I've got family that I need to that, um, support. Trying to, trying to earn a stable income and then obviously playing football on a Saturday and on a Sunday. I always felt like a lot of other people have made it the impossible possible, so why can't I? How I operate is you can't get too excited when things go your way. You can't get too discouraged when things don't go your way. I've seen so many examples of previous teammates, friends and players that have hit heights and fallen off, so like you can't I feel like you need a reason why to keep going every single day. That could be your family, that could be somebody that looks after you. Like for me, it's like just my family really, like that's supporting me my whole life. My whole life, I've kind of been the underdog. I've always had people judge me before they've even seen me play because like in our society and in our culture, there isn't a lot of black goalkeepers in professional football in general. All of the up and coming goalkeepers that are black or of, or of any other minority ethnicity um, just never give up like believe in yourself the journey continues like for me as a goalkeeper I'm still I'm not young but I'm at a good age and goalkeepers can play until they're 40 years of age three pieces of advice I'd say is uh, have a work ethic of just outworking everyone around you I'm a forgetful person just in general like just small things so uh, I have a schedule every single week and I make sure I tick that schedule if I've if I've executed on whatever I, I needed to do, whether that's going to the gym, whether that's going to do a run. Secondly is have that self-belief in yourself. Like it doesn't have to be an ego type of thing, but like that quiet sort of belief in yourself that you can prevail, others have prevailed. Third thing I'd say is if you believe in yourself and you've got a work ethic, you need to have the results to follow it. So if you're a striker, aim to get 20 goals in 30 games. If you're a goalkeeper like myself, I had 13 clean sheets in 39 games, so that's an average one in every three games. So, like, always have targets and make sure you hit them, because if you don't hit them, then you give someone an excuse not to give you an opportunity. So, my goals in the short term now is to go on loan, just try and play as much games as possible while I was waiting for my opportunity at Harrogate Town and trying to keep as much clean sheets as possible. And my long-term goals is I've kind of got interest from the national side, Ghana is like where my family's heritage is from, and to get called up by the national team and to be playing in a football league on a consistent basis. So yeah, I just want to say um, massive gratitude for all the support that everyone's shown me from day one. Yeah, all I want to say is never give up, keep persevering on your dreams and um, anything's possible. I didn't come this far to only come this far.
One word to describe Melvin is resilient. Leader. Inspirational. A leader. Humble. Relentless. Inspirational. Resilient. And leader. Role model. The GOAT. Relentless. Courageous.